Hey, what's going on, gang? Thank you all for joining me here today for another episode of On The Go Power Wash Pro Garage TV. My name is Herman Stuckey, and we are getting ready to start season two of On The Go Power Wash Pro TV. So we thank everyone for their support. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today, it's really a special, special day for me. Uh, I'm gonna show you the enclosed unit that we're gonna be using here from now on. And it was a super fun build, ready to have it, uh, make me some money, honestly, and uh, you know, get to working with it. So um, without further ado, let's check it out. This unit is a six by 12 tandem axle trailer. And uh, it's enclosed, of course. Some of the features that I would like to uh, showcase on the outside would be, of course, the tandem axles and the LED lighting, and we have um, rear barn doors. Let's go ahead and let's open up the back doors here, and we'll let you guys check this out. gonna talk first about the epoxy shield <clears throat> if you guys had a chance to see the two garage episodes that I made uh, you guys had a chance to see me put the uh, epoxy on the floor with some sprinkles and then I did the wall the walls and stuff like that also what I did is I went underneath uh, after I thought about it and uh, underneath the uh, the floor put the epoxy shield under there as well just to do my best to protect that floor, you know, from uh, just rain, you know, so hopefully that will help protect it and help prolong the uh, life of the floor. So let's get off into what's inside. All right, so we're gonna start over here. And uh, this is just pretty much some basic tools of the trade that we need. Uh, we got the hoses up here. I got my surface cleaners back there on the wall. And then here we got, you know, the guns and the extensions, chemical gun and stuff like that, all on this wall here. So down here, we have uh, both of the uh, same units that we had in our previous uh, utility trailer. We just brought these over here. And so they're in here now, you know, protected from the weather and everything like that. Uh, on this black unit, this Landa unit, I chopped off the roll cage just to help uh, lighten the weight of it because that's a pretty heavy unit. And if we come down here, we look at the plumbing here, you know, pretty simple to the point. Um, both of the hoses there are going, of course, to the machines, of course. And then we have our dump valve right over here that just kind of comes out. Really didn't want a dump valve, but I figured I'd go ahead and put one in there anyway, just in case you never know. Uh, the tank here, this is a new uh, tote that we've got. The other one was leaking a little bit, so I just figured it might be a good idea just to replace it. Uh, we got the cam lock downer on it and uh, it's all good. So up here we have our chemical tank and you can see the pump there connected to it. It runs along the wall here and uh, this is the uh, hose reel for the hose uh, hanger, I guess, for it. This is about 190 feet, and uh, I use about 10 feet to uh, use for the tanks as well. So here, uh, you know, I got quite a bit of fittings and whatnot on top of the tote here. Um, this garden hose right here is permanently connected there, and uh, I just kind of ran it right here to the hanger there. So that's very simple just for me to grab, hook to a home and uh, start filling. That is hooked to uh, a Hudson float valve. And if you don't know what that is, uh, there are a lot of cool videos on YouTube and people uh, show you how to install those and stuff like that. But it's great because it just keeps me from overflowing this tank and it keeps my tank topped off uh, You know when I'm using the machines. That's just uh, kind of like a backup fill valve. 
if I needed to hook a hose to it, I could. Uh, right here, these are the uh, valves for my bypass that run, you know, the red hose here down to the machines, to the pumps rather. And it just basically, you know, recycles that water. So um, the water inside of my uh, pump does not get too hot and, you know, tear the seals and things like that. And you just basically tear up the pump. So that's very important to have. If you do not have one of those, you should definitely get one. That is a must have. This is the controller for the uh, solar panel. So we have two panels here. They're all 25 watts a piece. And then we have two panels here. So that's a total of, you know, 100 watts. And <clears throat> you can see uh, where that, can, from the controller, it just goes down to the battery. Uh, what else? The pump right up here, you can see we got the uh, toggle switch there on the wall. It also goes down to the battery. All right, so uh, pretty much kind of to, to, to uh, round this out here. We got some lights in there, some LED lights that, uh, that of course run off the battery, some LEDs and uh, the, the light bulb there that actually came with the solar panel unit. So I figured I'd go ahead and use it. Um, I like my wires, as you can see, I like my wires to, to be exposed. Uh, for two reasons. One, I think it gives it a really cool industrial look. And so I like that look, but also uh, it makes it really easy if I need to get to some wires to uh, change something out or uh, replace something. They're just right there for me to get to. So I don't have to spend a whole lot of time taking things apart, pulling it out, repairing it, replacing it, and then putting it all back together. It's just right there for me. Right here, we got a little magnet strip with just some commonly used tools that I would need, you know, to do some minor maintenance or repairs. These uh, tips here go on to the tip of the uh, the wand here for the uh, soft wash unit. So they just kind of fit into the tip of that and that is how that works. So it's a very convenient uh, little tool to have. And so uh, I figured it would be useful uh, back here of course the real hose stuff like that uh, is back here as well I only have one reel I think reels are to me they're, they're they're heavy and they take up a lot of space so for me I really like using these little hanger things here they're very inexpensive and uh, very but yet they're very effective uh, I got a couple baskets right up here that I will keep, you know, commonly used stuff in, you know, oils and, you know, things like that, grease, maybe some, you know, I don't know, anything. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, back here on the wall, this is just a, uh, that's a little uh, battery operated uh, liquid transfer pump. So uh, it actually um, transfers six quarts a minute. So I just have that back there in case I want to use it to, uh, you know, refuel the machines. No more lifting the uh, heavy, heavy uh, containers of fuel, spilling it. Just uh, stick that down inside the uh, the gas container. Take that hose, put it right here, you know, into the gas tank. Turn it on, and it just fills for you. That is pretty much um, what I wanted to show back here at the rear. If, you've no, if you noticed, things are in there really tight and that is for a reason. And I'm about to show you that reason. Uh, this is a six by 12 uh, trailer, enclosed trailer unit. And uh, I'm gonna show you now why things in here may appear to be a little tight. Check it out. Um, I think everything in there looks pretty, um, typical for what you'd see in a pressure cleaning unit um, but I think that my unit is probably the most unique uh, pressure cleaning unit right now on the internet and I'm about to show you why so this is a 6x12 trailer 
And let's open up the side door. Uh, that's an RV style door. I really like that. It looks it looks really professional. It looks really cool. So uh, let's take a look inside and let's see what makes this unit here so unique. wrapping things up as far as like putting everything in here as far as you know tools and supplies and stuff so still got some stuff to, to clean up but it's pretty much finished um, so I'll start talking about what you see um, we have a lot of storage bins we have magnets here to hold tools and supplies um, notice there are no cabinets and the reason why I didn't really want cabinets is because of weight um, the goal for me was not to add any more weight to this than I had to. So, um, and also too, I love having tools and supplies right in front of me. You know, I can come in and I just grab it. I don't have to open up cabinets. I don't have to look through, you know, containers or anything like that. It's just right there for me to grab and I can get back to work. All right, um, so we got power tools up here. We really don't use those too often but they were at a great price on black friday so i had to pick them up <laughs> but uh, i don't really see myself needing to use them but they're here in case i need them um we got a lot of storage in here and i will let you guys take a look at that right now All right, so this is my workshop. If you guys remember the episode, you, you knew that the, uh, the the workbench was in here. We got a stool down here and just a container that just keeps stuff in it, you know, random stuff I may need. But this right here is pretty cool. This is, you got it. This is my bathroom. Uh, you never know when you may need it and it, I thought it was pretty awesome to have um, so we have a toilet here we've got hand sanitizer we'll have toilet paper here and you can put your phone up there as well you know read a newspaper magazine whatever um, so this is like a, 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 a work workspace it's a bathroom it's my own little, my own little office that I have and this is again a six by 12. This is not a seven by 14. So this is very spacious, very roomy, uh, very comfortable. Uh, you can see here, I put up a little partition right here uh, just to separate the two. So uh, to give it a little, a little more privacy and you know, um, the, 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 the reason that this was put up was because I was thinking, what if I'm out working somewhere and that those back doors have to be open, you know, when running the machines and everything. And if, if this partition wasn't here, then everything up here, right, like is exposed. So, you know, someone walking by could just see right in here and, you know, so, the initial reason for putting up the partition was to give privacy and then, and, 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 you know, more of security and privacy. So that's really awesome. This is really lightweight. This is not anything heavy. I did not frame it and drywall it, although I thought about it, but this is really light, does not add any weight. But if you uh, recall, Previously in this uh, episode here, you know, the, the wall was really cool. You couldn't see up here. And uh, this is very, very private. You know, it's secure, it has a door that locks from the inside. So it's really, really cool. And I'm really most pleased about this. And uh, of course you got you know, some lights in here and all that kind of stuff. So uh, just really, really, really 
thank you guys for checking out this episode of On The Go Power Wash Pro Garage TV. This is the unit of the future. I'm really excited, can't wait to get out and uh, use it. So uh, Saturday, um, we will be officially starting off season two. Um, episode, I think maybe 114, I think, is where we left off at. So we'll continue to count up on the episodes, but this is now season two. So we are so excited about the future for this company and its growth. And we thank you so much for joining us on this journey and this ride. We greatly appreciate the support. Let us know what you think about the, uh, the new setup. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a question in the comment section. Or if you have a really specific question, shoot me an email at onthegopwp at gmail.com. Till next time, this is On The Go, Power Wash Pro Garage TV.